एवरीवन आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल अगला सेम स्कूल्स टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी कवरिंग चैप्टर 4 ऑफ क्लास 10th ज्योग्राफी दैट इज एग्रीकल्चर सो लेट्स डिस्कस क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स हियर क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 सेज मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चंस पार्ट 1 सेज व्हिच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग डिस्क्राइब्स अ सिस्टम ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर वेयर अ सिंगल क्रॉप इज ग्रोन ऑन अ लार्ज स्केल आंसर इज plantation agriculture second which one of the following is a rabi crop answer is gram third which one of the following is a leguminous crop answer is pulses further question number 2 says answer the following questions in about 30 words first name one important beverage crop and specify the geographical conditions required for its growth answer is Tea is an important beverage crop. This plant grows well in the tropical and subtropical climates. Deep, fertile and well-drained soil which is rich in humus and organic matter is the most suitable for tea plantation. Tea bushes require warm and moist frost-free climate all through the year with frequent showers that requires continuous growth of the tender leaves. For the second part is Name one staple crop of India and the regions where it is produced. Answer is plains of north, north east India, coastal area, deltic region. For the third part says enlist the various institutional reform programs introduced by the government in the interest of farmers. Answer is minimum support price that is MSP. First provision for crop insurance against drought flood etc for the subsidy on fertilizers and the last is establishment of gramin banks to provide low interest loans for the fourth part says the land under cultivation has got reduced day by day can you imagine its consequences answer is shortage of food first rise in price for food grains shortage of supply of raw material for agro industries increase in unemployment increase in import of food grain will put stress on the economy now let's discuss question number 3 answer the following questions in about 120 words question number 1 says suggest the initiative taken by the government to ensure the increase in agriculture production answer is green revolution based on the use of package technology and the white revolution that is operational flood where some of the strategies initiated to improve a lot of indian agriculture a comprehensive land development program was initiated in 1980s and 1990s that include both institutional and technical reforms second provision for crop insurance against drought flood fire etc and the third is establishment of gramin banks cooperative societies and banks for providing low interest loans further second part says describe the impact of globalization on indian agriculture so answer is the impact of globalization on indian agriculture has been felt since the time of colonization in the 19th century indian spices were exported to different countries of the world and the farmers of south indian were encouraged to grow these crops in 1917 indian farmers revolted in champaran because they were forced to grow indigo on their land to supply dye to british flourishing textile industries they were unable to grow food grains to sustain their families post liberalization indian farmers have been exposed to new challenges in the form of competition from highly subsidized agriculture of developed nations despite being an important producer of rice cotton rubber tea coffee and spices our agricultural products are not able to compete with other countries to make the indian agriculture successful and profitable proper thrust should be given to the improvement of the condition of marginal and small farmers further third part says describe the geographical conditions required for the growth of rice answer is in areas with less rainfall it grows with the help of dense network of canals 
irrigation and tube wells. Second, rich alluvial soil is the best for rice cultivation. Third, abundant rainfall or good water supply is necessary during the earlier part of its growing season in June and July. And the last is, plains of north and northeastern India, coastal areas and the deltic regions are ideal for rice cultivation. So guys, here I've covered all the questions of this chapter in this video. I hope you like this video. And if you have any query or any doubt related to any of the questions discussed, please put your query in the comment section below. For more such NCRT solutions, keep watching and do not forget to subscribe our channel, Agla Sim Schools. And do not forget to wear a mask and take good care of your health.